All right, so we're gonna go right to saddling. Um, when we saddle our horse, usually what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our blanket or pad on first, and mm -hmm. then we're gonna put the saddle right over the top. Um, whenever I blanket or saddle a horse, I'm gonna let them smell it first, okay? If I have a horse that's not used to being saddled or mm -hmm. hasn't been saddled a lot, I will actually untie them first while I'm saddling them. That way, uh, if they do sit back, they're not going to like be tight and thrash and yeah. do some silly stuff. They'll just pull back on the rope a little bit and I can step them back up. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yeah. This horse has been saddled like tens of thousands of times oh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not worried about that. But if it's a horse, if I didn't know this horse, mm -hmm. Or if it was a horse that was young, you know, I would not tie them up while being saddled. Uh, same thing with picking out the feet mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Um, if it's a horse that I don't know, I'm not going to have them tied while I pick up the mm -hmm. feet. I might have it wrapped around the rail or I might be holding the rope as I go through and pick out those feet. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. Just safer that way. That way you're not caught anywhere. Um, so I'll let them kind of smell it, see it. He's not worried about it but I'd rub them on it. If my pony were dancing around, I'd just kind of relax until they relax, mm -hmm. right? And then when I saw that they accepted it, then I'd go on and put my pad on. Um, typically, you want to kind of overshoot where you place your pad and then kind of slide it back going with the grain of the hair, mm -hmm. okay? So you don't want to put it too far behind and then ruffle the hair by sliding yeah. it forward. I'm going to kind of put it over here. And then this paddle's really easy because there's a notch right here yeah. where the wither goes. So I'll just, slide it down in place to where it sits in that notch. But as a rule of thumb, what you're gonna look at is the front of the saddle pad. You want it to go right down, kind of like on the back side of that front of that front leg. Okay, so that's kind of a good rule of thumb to start out with on where you want your saddle pad to be. Gotcha. Because your saddle's actually gonna sit a couple of inches behind that and rest on your horse's back. Okay. Um, and then I like to kind of bunch my saddle up, my saddle pad up just a little bit right here. That way it's just not so tight when I push the, mm -hmm. the, the saddle on. 